Unless the enemy is bent upon complete self-annihilation, it falls to the army, too, to meet with the commanders of the opposing forces to bring the fighting to an end. No weapon or machine, no matter how powerful or automatic, can drive the enemy from his lair and hope to bring about the resolution of a battle or a war. This is the job of the men who lead the land armies. While certain facets of the army's role remain constant, others are undergoing radical change. The Normandy-type invasion is antiquated today. No nation would be foolish enough to concentrate large numbers of planes, ships, and men in one open area where they would be inviting attack by atomic bomb or shell. However, to fight a nuclear war, more men, not fewer, will be needed. Casualties are likely to be higher. The use of atomic weapons directly at the front requires some basic changes in army tactics. Greater dispersion, better control, speed and cross-country mobility. All of these become vital elements in organizing a successful campaign. Currently, the only answer to guided missiles is dispersion and camouflage. The answer to mass force is mobility. Targets for atomic artillery cannot be created by the weapons themselves. The enemy must be forced to collect in pockets by the Army's ground troops taking advantage of existing terrain. The commander on the ground must have not only atomic weapons, but also sufficient forces to create targets for his weapons. The Army's aim is to keep its own battalions strung out to avoid atomic attack by the enemy while forcing him to consolidate. The target is no longer the weak spot for the breakthrough but rather the enemy concentration worth an atomic shell. of atomic tactical weapons on the battlefield, however, does not alter the basic truth that only ground forces using the old proven techniques of firepower plus mobility are capable of taking and holding the land. Ground blasted by atomic firepower must still be physically occupied by troops before it can be considered secure. Once shaken by atomic fire, enemy troops and installations must be cleaned up before the enemy can recover.